nine mountains and eight seas make one world. One thousand worlds make one chilly cosm. One chilly cosm to the power of three. And there's nothing I can't cut. What is Gucci you too? Mr. Boy Black Chat, three long face, skinny body. We are back still flat with some more fire anime manga content today we got some reactions for y'all it's been a minute since i even done a reaction and with the demon slayer hype or buzz running around the community i figured i'm like bro why not even hop on the demon slayer reaction because the last time i reacted to demon slayer content um it was lit entertainment district arc might actually have to rewatch that arc but the sword smith village um arc for those y'all who don't know those y'all do know is coming to the demon slayer anime the third arc or they just label it arc i was about to say the third seasons but they just label it as arcs at this point but to the source smith village we got the official country road trailer it's like a little minute 40 seconds we're gonna just see what it's what it's here for really it's not really much for me to even say you know demon slayer normally looks pretty but in terms of what this trailer is actually hitting for let's see let's see what they talking about It looks like a montage of stuff that we already seen. Okay, the moving train. Dang, my boy. Ooh. Ah, my other boy. Man, Rengoku, he's he's too real, bro. Rengoku had... Rengoku, Rengoku's fight wasn't better than uh, Tenzin's or Uzio. Whatever this nigga name is. Hold on. I'm going to say after this. Gas, gas. Bro, this guy's in that suit is wild. Like, was that Shorty from last season? Episode 10, 11, and then episode 1 of the new arc. That's how the official release is going to be. Dang, boy, these upper demons looking crazy. Bro. I miss Hashira a lot. <laughs> this March, only in movie theaters. The official release is in March. All right. What was I for? All right, this is what I was going to say. Listen. Uh, my guy Rengoku is stronger than Uzio or Ten whatever the dude is that was fighting the Hashira in the Entertainment District arc. He had the best fight in all of Demon Slayer. But people get the best fight misconstrued with him being strong. He's not stronger than Rengoku. Rengoku fought one of the strongest uh, upper moon demons, bro. And not only that, he was the first Hashira at this current generation of Hashiras to fight an upper moon level demon and he still damn near won. Bro, if it wasn't like, bro, this guy Rengoku, I be trying to tell people, but the Entertainment District arc had the best visuals in the entire season. So people were like, bro, nah, that dude is stronger than, Rengoku is that guy, bro. Nah, not to take any, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Uzi, I think it's Uzi or Tenzin, something like that, something, one of those two. The, the Ninja Hashira though, I ain't trying to take away from him. He was boxing and he had the best. You can hold that title, had the best fight in the entire show up until this point, but he's not stronger than Rengoku. And I'll be trying to stress that to people's brain. Like, Rengoku, y'all see what he had to do? Not only did he, like, his actions resulted in no casualties but his own, right? My guy Tenzin, yeah, the whole village was destroyed. People was, houses was burning down. Not only did he lose an arm and a leg, Tanjiro damn near lost his sister. Tanjiro damn near lost. His he got poisoned, I give you that, and he still fought through the poison, and he was cold with it, but he's not stronger than Rengoku, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to stress that, but all in all, I'm really looking forward to the Swordsmith Village, alright, let me know how y'all feel about it, honestly, um, cause I got some more reactions underway, but Demon Slayer is always gonna be gas regardless, um, the story for itself, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see, I'm really trying to see where they finna take it, cause this guy, Muzan, aka Michael Jackson, he, he has to get dealt with, uh, pretty soon, he's been, He's been dealing some damage, and in season two, when he went and he wiped out his whole lower moon demons, I was like, yeah, this guy is ruthless, right? And that was at the end of season one, actually, not season two. Um, 
But either way, I'm gonna definitely rewatch the Entertainment District arc. I'm not gonna rewatch the movie and train arc because I've seen the arc and I've seen the movie. I think I've seen the movie twice and I've seen the arc <laughs> as well. So I know what I'm talking about. This guy, Ray Goku, is that he fought. I think what was the, the the upper moon that was like the third strongest one he fought bro and he still bro he still almost beat this man with having no knowledge or intel of how strong these upper uh, upper moon demons are being the first Hashira in the generation to come across upper moon come on bro and then this guy uh, Tenzin or Uzi on entertainment that was like the upper six upper level six basically like the weakest of the upper come on g like don't don't do that don't do that don't do rengoku like that hey, but holla at your boy man i'm gonna holla at y'all let me know how y'all feel and how excited are y'all those y'all who do watch demon slayer uh looking forward to uh the swordsmith village content the swordsmith village all right it's lady let's get it comment below um share the video with your friends holla at your boy i'm gonna holla at y'all black child yes sir ski hey, can we take a trip to the sky Show them that our limits too high. Pop up by the hips on the wrist, yeah. She said, 